sorry. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to Nintendo Treehouse Live 2017. I'm with my great friends, Kendra and Audrey, and we are here to do a retake on the content of the upcoming DLC for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's right. So I'm going to jump right in here. I'm not pulling any punches. I'm going straight into tingle mode. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so for anybody who wasn't able to catch our segment yesterday, uh, this amazing tingle outfit is one of the uh, things that you can get from DLC Pack 1. Uh, it's one of the many armors that you'll get that you can find in treasure chests hidden throughout the world. And so I am actually playing in master mode here. And oh, as you can see, even though I'm at a great distance, that Bokoblin has already spotted me. And that's just one of the things that's, ah, he can see me, I'm scared. <laughs> that's just one of the things that's been changed in master mode is that enemies can sense you a lot quicker. And you're, even though your weapons do the same amount of damage, the enemies around the world have actually been tiered up. So where you would normally see a pack of red Bokoblins, for example, <laughs> instead we have a pack of blue Bokoblins. And I want to point out that I'm in the Great Plateau here. You may recognize this from the beginning of the game or from our segments last year. And when you start the game, you're here with only three hearts. You've got maybe a stick to your name, some tattered pants. But uh, this game is really hard in master mode, especially just right from the start. You're going to find it really challenging to get through the, oh, you know, blue bacoblins, <laughs> black bacoblins, lionels hiding around the great plateaus. So. But right now you have some extra padding because you have all the all those hearts right now, but you also have Mifa's Grace and Rivali. Yes, right here I've got, uh, I've got my weapons, I've got my master sword, I've got all kinds of good things, but even then it's going to be challenging. So just imagine when you only have the three hearts. Well, and you have the magical tingle suit. Yes, this magical, you know, that's right. magical suit. It, it doesn't actually give me anything but courage because I know I look so darn good in it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm still not sold on this one. <laughs> no, come around to the tingle side. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go and look for more trouble on the Great Plateau. Are you going to look for a Lionel? <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to look. Yes. I don't know if yes. I want to find Please. one. Uh, we, we need some action. Oh my gosh. Yes, we need some please. action. We're at least gonna we're gonna find trouble. I don't know we, if we're gonna find a Lionel, but we're definitely gonna find <laughs> some trouble here on the Great Plateau. Yeah, we've been we've been actively pressuring Audrey yeah. to go it's out true. and find a Lionel because we wanna see it's peer pressure. We wanna see it. It is. It's very real. <laughs> it's very real. <laughs> He is a beast yes, in more yes. ways than one. Um, but it's really cool that they've tiered up almost all of the enemies in the game, and that means that there's actually a brand new top tier of enemies called Golden Enemies, and that includes Gold Lionels. And they're very, very scary. They're so scary. <laughs> fly, Tinkle, fly. Fly, Kulalumpa. And so let's see if we can rustle up some trouble. Look how far they can spot oh me from. Oh my gosh, whoa. They're yeah. so, so mean. I'm just gonna, <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm not really stealthy in my tingle costume here, but uh, <laughs> whatever. These book goblins have 20, not 20 stealthy, vision. But very Their snazzy. vision has been upgraded in master mode. Yes. So normally, honestly, my uh, strategy is to just barrel in and then deal with it, but that's not going to work in master mode so much. You have to try and be at least a little strategic. Yes, give me your guts. <laughs> no. Ooh, actually, maybe I could stock up on arrows from this guy. Oh, I'm just going to kill you instead. Nice. Yeah, I don't like your kind. <laughs> Yay. That death cry. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, 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 look at this guy. All right. Now here we have a, here we go. a silver book goblin in the great plateau, for goodness sake. Isn't that war cool? paint on. Yes. So I'm going to stay nice back because he scares me and he's spooky. And that is why. Yep, I'm just going to keep shooting you in the head, buddy. You've got it coming. Get those red devil eyes. It's not cool, man. Nope. We could have been friends. We could have been buddies. Man, but, uh, and look at that. Even with the headshots, he's not taking very much damage. Yeah. Yeah. I know. He's going to make me just get right in there, isn't he? Fortune yeah. favors the bold. Oh, fortune favors Ooh. the om noms is what it favors. <laughs> om nom nom. <laughs> See, I wanted to be brave and get right up in his face, but... Wow, just nice. one hit. He took all those hearts from you. No. So we're seeing, obviously, what master mode looks like in the starting areas here, where you would normally have 
the Red Bull Coblins. But um, yeah, and when you <laughs> when you face this guy here, you're going to have three hearts. You're going to have a Boko Club. You're going to have tattered pants. Like it's going to be difficult, but it's really, really satisfying. It really makes you hone your game. You've really got to up your strategy and um, try. <laughs> Oh and not goodness. to let him get the best of you. You see how many hits he takes? And yeah. I've got yeah. I know. I think he's not even down to half health yet. And I've oh got the gosh. Master Sword, I should point out. This is not a Boko Club. This is the Master Sword. So, uh, oh, oh, and now oh, it's out no, of energy. No. Okay, hopefully I've got... Oh, hello. Hello, oh, nice. Goblin Club. Nice. There we go. How you doing? <laughs> Let's party. <laughs> no. I'm like, is there an edge nearby that you can just... <laughs> Launch him, him off of, yeah. Oh, no, there isn't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You see, you just got to be brave and get right up in his face because he's really fast, too. He's gonna I, I applaud run. Your, your diligence. Yeah, and you wanted me to go after a Lionel. I, you, you I mean, I yourself, still, I still do. do. You call yourselves my friends. I mean, we are. <laughs> oh, Mipha's Grace. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mipha. You're, you're a good, good Mipha. <laughs> oh, there is an edge. Oh, just Ooh, slowly do it. toss him over. Oh. Hey, buddy. You don't have a paraglider, do you? No, you don't. Just get back. Get back to where you want to belong. I can't believe how much HP he still has. Right? This is insane. And another okay. thing is, if you actually, I'm not going to. Oh, uh, fine, I will. But if I back off of him, <laughs> look at that. His health regenerates. Oh, that's oh, why it's taking goodness. forever. Yeah, his health slowly regenerates. So oh, you really have beast. to. See, he's Yikes. already almost back to halfway. Oh my god. So you really, you can't let up on your assault. You just have to keep at him. And oh. kind of spamming bombs from a distance isn't really going to work so much in this mode. Oh, you did it. Yes, yes. I got well him. Done. Nice. Yay. <laughs> Couldn't quite get him over that edge. That wall was in the way. All right. Unfortunately. I feel pretty good about that. Yeah. That, l let's call that good. That I'm not going to go look for his Lionel friend. <laughs> Maybe he's just over the wall. Just take yeah, a sneak treasure. peek. I'll just jump over the wall. That's a good idea. Keep so. up the pressure, Teresa. Keep up the pressure. I, know, I want right? to see it. I want to see it so badly. <laughs> Peer pressure, the, the special brand of friendship for these guys. <laughs> it really we is. We love you. We yes. do. <laughs> but um, as you can see, this is not the great plateau that you know and love. It's decidedly different and more difficult. And uh, you could already spend hours at the great plateau, but now there's just so much more to do. And as we can see right there. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Bomb We're arrows. So nice. <laughs> Fire so for everyone. I'm gonna. Oh, oh. So <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try and shoot him off the edge. Go, go, be down, be dead. Nice. Yes. Okay. Is anyone else? And so we have the. Oh, um, those guys have it too. Obviously, those platforms are a new addition as yes. well. Yes. Thank you for speaking while I run away screaming. <laughs> oh, no worries. <laughs> so these are sky platforms, and that thing I just shot really <laughs> mercilessly is a sky octorock. He's actually teaming up with these terrible bokoblins. Oh. oh, it's okay. It's okay. He needs the a tingle safe. break. <laughs> the water's not safe. Nowhere's safe. <laughs> but um, the sky platforms actually. Uh, contain enemies, obviously, but they also can contain treasure. So uh, let's see. I think no. I let it down into the ground, so I don't get that treasure. But wait, where is it? Is it in the water? Yeah. So I shot the sky bokoblins, which means that Maybe it dropped it. both the enemies and the treasure. Can you reach it into with the water? Can you reach oh. it with magnesis, though? Let's see. Sometimes you can fish it out with magnesis, but it looks no, like a wood. It looks like a wooden treasure yeah. chest. Fine. You keep that Larg. treasure. Who wants that stupid treasure anyway? Me. Oh well. Me do. Me <laughs> want. <laughs> Me <But> do want. <laughs> We're actually going to show another thing that with DLC pack one you can find in the world hidden in a treasure chest. And it's called the travel medallion. And with the travel medallion, you can actually place it anywhere you want in the world and then instantly travel there. It opens it up as a travel gate. So uh, as we mentioned, say that I was here next to these sky platforms and I decided that I didn't have the proper tools or equipment or food to actually go after them. I could have placed uh, the travel medallion there, gone home, stocked up, and then just warped right back. So nice. it's really, really handy. It is. It is. Yes. Definitely. Otherwise, you would have just had to maybe put a stamp on the map and then go run to the closest point and mm -hmm. then warp Home, but now you can just get instantly right back there whenever you want. That's awesome. Oh, another sky platform. Well, maybe I can get your treasure. Give me your treasure. Let's just. We come seeking treasure. Let's om some noms. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, everything he does in the Tingle outfit kind of delights me, I have to admit. <laughs> we also come seeking Lionel's. Are we going to show some of the other outfits? Yes, we are. But first, we're going to try and get this guy's treasure. Treasure. Yes. Yes. Hello. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah, Bye. get out of here. Hello. This is my oh. treasure now. Oh, he's not dead. No. Ooh, that's going to come back to haunt me. Uh, drill shaft. <laughs> Pilfer and run. For it. Pilfer and run. Oh, but I, I have dignity. <laughs> I have honor. And I killed him. So now I have both still. That was kind of you, really. Yes. He was in pain. <laughs> I put him out of his misery. And now I, I should let these Sky Octoroks live because they're actually a peaceful bunch. They're... They don't do any harm to anybody, but uh, they're dead. <laughs> but I'm going to explode them him anyway. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is without his He's friends He's having such now. a hard time like, no, holding onto that platform. Yeah, I got this. I got this. I okay. let him live. You, no, you should probably put him out of his misery. Yeah. He has nothing to live for <laughs> That's anymore. That's true. I killed all of his friends. Jeez. So now that we've shown him how merciless <laughs> we can actually be. Audrey uh, the Merciless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually going to take this moment to show you some of our other outfits. Yay. Let me just make the mistake of unequipping my weapon so that you can get a better look at it. I'm totally not going to remember to put it back on, and that's going to come back to haunt me later. <laughs> but here, I love it. we have the phantom armor. And you might remember this from uh, The Legend of Zelda, Phantom Hourglass, or Spirit Tracks from yes. the Nintendo DS games. I love those games. And now you, too, can run around as a phantom. And it's pretty cool. And intimidate people. Yes, obviously. Sa saunter through hallways yes, eerily. Saunter as much as you like. And we also have, uh, I think the phantom arm is a little distracting. <laughs> so, this is less distracting. We also have <laughs> Midna's helmet here, complete with flopsy hair. Adorable. <laughs> yes, and this is one of my personal favorites. This is Majora's Mask, and I'm a huge fan of this game. And as I've mentioned before, this is not the actual Majora's Mask. It's a replica, so Link probably won't go around killing everybody. Probably, probably. hopefully, maybe. Maybe, probably, yes. So Unless you're hope. playing, in which case you'll be you'll be destroying. It's everybody. my prerogative. You can't <laughs> judge me for it. <laughs> for the hope and relief of hi all of Hyrule, they don't want no. another calamity. So, um, but Korok. Yes, I'm oh, gonna yeah, go yeah. ahead and put him back in his Tingle outfit, but with the addition of Yay. this Korok mask, Yay. Nice. which is not only really adorable, <laughs> but it actually has an added functionality. It'll shake and rattle whenever you're near a Korok. And you've even got the little, the little pinwheel in your, in your hair there. Yeah, and there so are cute. 900 Koroks in the game. So um, if you haven't found them all, then this is really going to help you track them down. You can just kind of run around exploring like you usually would. But if you're wearing this mask, then this thing will actually give you a visual indication of when you're close to a Korok. So it's really really handy. And even if you have tracked them all down, you can still wear it and look super you, you cool. You can still wear it and be, wow, that guy's having a and bad day And vanquish all your enemies with a Korok face. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I'm scaring all of the animals in Aww. my <laughs> Korok outfit here. But I actually want to show you guys a map feature. We showed this in our last segment, but it's really cool. And this is called Hero's Path Mode. And what this does is it actually lets you view where you've been on your adventure so far. And you can slow it down, speed it up, but basically you can kind of see how your adventure has unfolded so far. And this is really useful for tracking down those last Koroks, those last shrines, those last towers, because it shows you not only where you've been, but obviously where you haven't been. And so I know that my play style is I kind of just follow my whims. I just run around with no real direction in mind. And so I've, it's pretty scattered. Yeah. My hero's path mode is just jumping all over the place. Oh, and yeah. So, uh, Same for me. I get distracted with shiny. Yeah, anything shiny. <laughs> I'm always just like looking for the nearest mountain or peak to go up on top of. So every sing my path would probably just be like at the top of all the peaks of the mountains. Mm -hmm. But this is really nice because you'll get to see everywhere you've been. And, and it's cool, too, because you can compare with you know your buddies data and see where you went as compared to where they went. And I mean, even going for the same goals, obviously, everybody's going to have a completely different path that they're taking. Yep, absolutely. And what we're going to do now is go to Korok Forest. And we didn't get to show this in our last segment, but I'm actually going to show while we're in master mode, the first couple of rooms of Trial of the Sword so that I spoke to it last time about how terribly horribly challenging <laughs> trial of the sword is in master mode and so i want you guys to have a look at the first couple of rooms so that you can see just how 
How Yay. wonderfully terrible I'm, it I'm is. I'm super excited. Yes, so we're about to meet with a terrible face. And perhaps there will be a Lionel in there. <laughs> yes, oh, right? gosh. You really want to see a Lionel kill I me. I really do. <laughs> really do. I mean, not... not Take you out. Yeah. But, sure. You know, I just want to rough me up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> we just want to say hello. Yeah. Plus, we'll play homage to the to the <laughs> poster that's for the DLC where Link that's is facing true. off the Lionel. He, yeah, I think he's behind me right now. It he is. looks yeah. really mad. He looks <laughs> pretty super mean. cool. So super I also cool have art. to say this animation. Oh my, my master sword's out of energy. Well, I was going to show you trial of the sword the first few rooms, but unfortunately, my master sword's resting right now. Oh, no. So what I'm actually going to do is switch save files. That is wise. And I'm yes. still going to do it, but I'm going to be sneaky about it. Cool. <laughs> good, good. Sounds good. Yes. So, so while, we're, while we're on the screen, I would love to hear what your favorite Zeldas are. Ooh. Yeah, so I know, it's rough. I mean, or like top two, maybe. So my favorite Zelda games are A Link to the Ocarina of Time, and nice. Majora's Breath of the Wild. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is my favorite game. That is, that that is that a great one. one. That single one. game is my favorite. How about you, Teresa? <laughs> I, so I like Link to the Past because it actually introduced me to the franchise, but I have a really soft spot for Link's Awakening on the Game Ooh, Boy. Oh, good, one. Nice. good yeah. one. I forgot, that's one of my favorites too. Yay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't forget that one. Nope, nope. Yeah. Um, yeah, and as for me, it's... I know, it's like, how do you even it's answer hard to this? Choose. Link to the Past, Ocarina, um, and Twilight Princess. Mm. I really love Twilight Princess. I feel like, um, you know, it's just it's just such an interesting twist on the Zelda franchise, and it's like so dark, mm. and I, I just dig that. Absolutely, and it's really great to see uh, the armor that you get in this game pay homage to uh, Link's past adventures. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice if you're kind of a, a big Zelda nerd, like yeah. the three of us maybe. Mm -hmm. It's just really maybe, good to collect sure. that stuff. A yeah. little bit. <laughs> yes. We're only sort of into Zelda. Uh, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> like we haven't put over 100 hours each on our no. save files. No. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell the internet that. I know when I hear that Heroes Path mode goes up to 200 hours, I was like, that, that'll that work for some of it. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Oh, right. All here right, we so go. Here we go. Lionel time. Yes. Oh, please. God. You really, really <laughs> want to see me die that Lionel way. Lionel time. Gosh, I love you guys, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, going to do the very important task here of putting Link in his, you know, super awesome hero outfit here. Yes, that's how he belongs. And now, finally, we're going to get to see this wonderful animation. I went out of my way for this, but it's really important that you guys see Link put the Master Sword in the pedestal in his tingle outfit. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my, oh my goodness. It's just so distracting. <laughs> it's so wonderful. I can't look away, but I'm so mesmerized by it. Don't it's, look away. No, at work, I've been going out of my way to play as many cutscenes as possible in the tingle outfit, and it's well <laughs> worth it. It's the only way to play after being naked. It's the second only way to play. <laughs> I will say that having the Korok mask kind of diffuses the distraction. So That's I, true. I'll try it out. <laughs> All right, so we're jumping into Trial of the Sword. Again, this is in master mode. So as you'll notice uh, from the last segment, the enemies in here have also been scaled up. So it's even more difficult and, than And you've what been we saw last time. stripped of your uh, tingle garb. I've been stripped of my tingle garb, but that's OK, because this is, again, the number one way to play. So in this <laughs> trial, Link is actually, he's been stripped of all of his clothes, all of his weapons, everything. And he's going to have to kind of acquire everything again. And the whole trial is meant to temper his mind, body, and soul so that he's strong enough to wield the Master Sword at its uh, full splendor at all times. And what that means is that instead of just being at level 60 when, uh, when you're facing Ganon or a Guardian, oh, please, please let me take your weapons. Yes! Oh, nice! Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> I made a mad dash for them, and it actually worked oh, out that for was, me. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> so otherwise, if you're not able to do that, like in their last segment, mm -hmm. you have to face them with a stick. And that is not perhaps the ideal way to face these guys. And yet these guys are blue bokoblins, and the weapons that you have, still they're still like level four and three. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, and I don't have any armor to kind of power myself oh my up, so. So you have to climb, strategize here. Climb like the wind. Link. No, I, I think I was going to climb that tree, but oh. they're too close. Look how and fast they are. And they're setting everything on fire. And they're setting everything on fire. So instead, 
So you started out, obviously, with no armor, no weapons, um, but you do have your runes still at your yes, disposal. Yes, nice. Flurry rush. Nice. Awesome. And so, oh, so you can good. still you can still your, use your bombs if if all else fails. You do have those as a backup. But oh, he oh, coming from behind. It's That's dirty. So so mean. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. Hey guys, come get me. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that feels really good. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh, and I forgot. I don't even have food that I can actually heal myself with. Grab the fire stick. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Yes. Oh, actually, hmm, that guy's about to go out, but. Are you holding off on using the axe? Yeah, I need to try and save something here, but I can try and get a critical hit since that thing was about to break anyway. Oh, I don't want, I don't want to resort to the, the stick just yet, so <laughs> I'll go ahead and bust out the axe. Oh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh my gosh. No! Oh. <laughs> Whoa, nice dodge. Yes, yeah, screaming in fear is absolutely acceptable oh. in Trial of the Sword. Oh! oh. Ouch. And we oh. died, which is a good time perhaps to switch to Trial of the Sword in Master Mode. Indeed. Yeah, <laughs> so it's a testament to how hard that is. Yeah, that's mode what I was going to say. I mean, if people are looking for a challenge, they're, they're really going to get it. They really are. Yeah. Yes. They're gonna get that challenge that they want. So um, yep. expect it's to right die. It's right there, waiting <laughs> expect, for you. <laughs> yeah, expect to die a lot, <laughs> and you know, be at peace with it. Yes, yeah. be at peace. I, with I'm it. at peace with it. No, I'm not at peace with it at all. <laughs> That's okay. You'll you'll have your revenge. <laughs> yeah, That's true. You're like, I will yeah. have my redemption after this. I'm going to try oh, yeah. and beat this. I'm going to go and kill every bokoblin everywhere. <laughs> wow. There will be no. I'm going to wipe out their mission. whole race. Yeah. Yes. Clearly, don't cross you. No. No. Nope, unless you <laughs> no. want your whole race to be wiped out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Brutal. Seriously. Yes. I'm sorry. That <laughs> only merciless. that only applies to bokoblins. Everyone else is safe. You guys are safe. Really? Yay, we're safe. <laughs> I feel <laughs> safe right now. I'll watch my back after this <laughs> And So we're going to jump into the middle trials here. And again, we're back on normal mode. So what you see here, it's going to be very challenging. It's still the trial of the sword. It's not going to be easy. But again, if you play this in master mode, as you saw, it's going to be scaled up. It's going to be even more difficult. All right. We're ready. We're ready. Of course, we're you're ready. ready. The, you're not yeah. doing it. <laughs> I know, I'm ready to sit here peacefully and watch yes. chaos ensue. I, I thank you for your support, though. <laughs> and as we mentioned before, actually jumping into the middle of the trial of the sword, uh, it's nice because you don't have to beat them all at once. But at the same time, what it means is that you, again, start out without any weapons or anything to your name. So you're going to have to be really sneaky. But you take all the hearts and all your stamina upgrades that you've gotten. Oh, I blew that guy up nice. and got his Boko Spear. All right, now I have a shield and a spear, so I'm doing OK. Yeah, got, pretty good starting Got a little point. something to my name, yeah. I don't know. Uh, and it, they make it so hard. Every, all of these rooms have a puzzle element as well, because it's not just enemies. You also have to kind of figure out how to get around the rooms here. So you here. were mentioning um, yesterday too about like you can you can start out in various areas of the trial. Once you beat once you beat it the in, the entirety of it, then you can start in different areas of the trial. Yes, and that's what well. we did here. Is we jumped right into the middle. So I used Magnesis actually to uh, take care of those guys. That's which is smart. Which is like a lot better. Yeah. yeah, you really have to be strategic here because if you run through all of your weapons in just one room, you're going to be in a world of pain, especially if you're coming into it like I am in the middle of the trials without anything. So mm -hmm. you really have to be so there's, smart. Yeah, and there's a clear, I mean, there's different different ways to go about it, but there's clearly a benefit to starting at the very beginning because you're going to have all the gear by the time you get to here. Oh, nothing. There's oh. nothing in that. That's just fine. Who needs your handout? Cool. <laughs> I don't need your handout. What a outs. tease. Seriously. Not cool. I was able to. That treasure that chest up there is also a tease. It is. Yeah. Oh, could you use Magnesis, though, to grab it, you think? I don't think. I think it's too far up there. Oh, right. Yeah. It looks like there's an upper platform that you have to so I think get to to drop down to it. Mm. Not a super glue this theory. guy. Yes, got Something. some arrows, All fire right. arrows. Ooh, nice. nice. Yes. Oh. oh, those are gonna be handy pretty soon. It's gonna yeah. come in handy in this next room. Yes. 
So we I know want what's to get coming. revenge on yeah. this wizard. Oh, here. I know. I know. After yesterday. Yes. <laughs> So these guys, they really are going to push you to your limits. But it's, as we've seen, it's really uh, satisfying when you're able to go back and get your revenge. <laughs> All right, you. Just I like see flopping you. flopping around. You and your ways. All right. So I'm going to pull out my bow here. It's so satisfying every time you draw oh, no, the, of course, the fire arrow. Being a little monster and getting as far away from me as he can. He knows, he knows what's coming. Oh, did he disappear right at the last second? I think he yes. did. Filthy. What a little monster. That's OK. He's not going to get away that easily. I love those enemies, though. I don't He's particularly totally like fighting them, but. Oh, wait. Do you see how little damage it did? Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. like, wait, you did hit him. Oh, but, 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 but the thing is, it didn't do much damage, but it knocked him on down. Oh, nice. So that's why I'm really happy that I got those fire arrows. He's got a friend here, though. Oh, hi. 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 Hello. Ooh, nice shot. Oh, my gosh. Even the fire arrow with the headshot oh, did the hardly point. any damage. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. No, no, no. Get up. Nope. Get up. Oh. Oh. oh, little monster. He lives to tell the tale another day. Yeah. Not for long, he doesn't. <laughs> I'm just waiting for like a, fl a floating, a floating dancing Lionel to come like <laughs> oh tracing God. through the air. Can you imagine, like a winged Lionel? Oh I will be gosh. imagining that. New, uh, an upgrade. <laughs> I love that he was laughing at me even as he was dying. It's really tricky, but Twisted. we got him and we got his brother, so I feel pretty good about that. And now I want. I'm hoping I can clear this room. We don't have much time left, but nice. I think that might oh, have been the last. There goes the weapon. Guy. Yeah, and so obviously guy. while you're on these platforms, um, sometimes sometimes it makes sense to knock the enemies off, and sometimes you know you may not want to do it because they're gonna go flying off with the weapons that you may or may not need. Yes, yeah. and I I'm luckily I'm doing pretty okay on weapons right now, so mm -hmm. I didn't have to be quite as uh, strategic about it there. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, he survived. Oh, and he's got friends. Oh. <laughs> How do these bokoblins, these mean old bokoblins, make so many friends? It's probably all those dance parties they have around the fire. Oh, that's true. That's really a bonding experience for all of them. I say to have all these weapons, look. Woo, three weapons in Trial of the Sword. That's actually doing pretty well. Are you getting some more? So it's all, yes. all good. Ooh, nice. All right. Yes, I beat oh, this room just well. in time. Well done. So yeah. Awesome. I think that was that's a good, good note to end on. That's a good yeah. note to end on. So again, we've got Master Mode. We've got Trial of the Sword, Hero's Path Mode. We've got the Korok Mask, Tinkle's Outfit. We've got all kinds of armor. There's just a whole ton of content in DLC Pack 1, The Master Trial. So we hope that you'll check it out. And we also and have- And Lionel's somewhere and in there. Lionels, gold Somewhere. Lionels, mean old gold Lionels. <laughs> but we also have, uh, I want to take another look at these amiibo here. Yes. These are amiibo of the four champions. And as we already announced, uh, in DLC pack two, we'll be called the Champions Ballad. And so we'll get to see a little bit more story about these wonderful characters that were introduced in the main game. So, so please awesome. look forward to yeah. that. They are really cool. Yeah, these are me. Well, I, I, I will have them. Oh, oh yeah. Be mine. I know. I know. <laughs> Security's so eyeing me now because I said that. <laughs> I know. But, um, so that is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC Pack 1. Thank you so much. Yeah. Up next, we have Fire Emblem Warriors. So please stick around. Yeah.